Thank you for the opportunity to discuss testosterone therapy may be protective for prostate cancer and not a risk. And I'm going to advance my slides. Bear with me. These are my disclosures. So for decades, for decades, the number one concern that patients had with receiving testosterone therapy is the risk of developing prostate cancer. This was one of the number one concerns that physicians had when prescribing testosterone, the risk of developing or giving their patients prostate cancer. You heard a wonderful talk by Dr. Morgenthaler earlier about um, that the, the testosterone was thought to cause prostate cancer since 1941, 41. And since then, we've had this concern. This was a survey that went out to many, many physicians throughout the world, asking them, what's your number one concern? And it's always prostate cancer. I will tell you that Dr. Morgenthaler, who we're very fortunate to have on today, is one who pioneered the way, really pioneered the way of our understanding of testosterone and prostate cancer. Over the past 15 years, there has been a paradigm shift. When I started my training, I was taught that testosterone was dangerous. It was like putting fuel on a fire to make that cancer worse. When I finished my training, we were taught maybe it's safe. And what I'm going to share with you today is a new paradigm that potentially testosterone may be therapeutic or even protective in the development of prostate cancer. So I'll start with this. It was in 2003, and I was a resident at this time, and this article was being presented at our journal club. And this was an article looking at men with high-grade prostate, uh, high-grade high PIN. They do not have prostate cancer, but they're at an increased risk of developing prostate cancer. This was a study by Dr. Morgenthaler's group. And what they found was that those men who received testosterone, who had high-grade PIN, did not go on to develop prostate cancer. But back then, this was unheard of to give men testosterone with high-grade PIN. Subsequently, since then, there were numerous studies giving men testosterone who had a history of prostate cancer, meaning they had a radical prostatectomy. They had radiation therapy, even some on active surveillance. And these studies found that testosterone did not increase the biochemical recurrence or the recurrence of prostate cancer. Now, I'd like to be fair by saying that we do not have any large randomized placebo-controlled trials of giving men testosterone with the history of prostate cancer. And, but the, one of the studies that we published in 2013 was giving men testosterone who are at high risk of developing prostate cancer, meaning high Gleason scores, positive surgical margins, positive lymph nodes. In our study, we looked and we found that those men who received testosterone actually had a lower risk of recurrence of their prostate cancer than those men who did not receive testosterone. And that recurrence rate was quite low. It was only 15%. And many have asked, in any way, could this be protective against the recurrent of prostate cancer because your recurrence rates are too low? Well, after this study, there were several other studies also looking at testosterone and prostate cancer. This was by Stacey Loeb in 2017, where she looked at a national registry study of almost 1,400 patients, uh, controls and th almost 300 patients who had prostate cancer. And what they found was that there was no association between testosterone and prostate cancer, but patients who received testosterone had a lower risk of aggressive prostate cancer, which was interesting. Several years later, Dr. Uh, Allerang's group actually had a, uh, um, let me go back here, I'm not sure why I advanced here. Several years later, Dr. Allerang's group looked at 850 patients after uh, prostatectomy, and they gave these men testosterone. These are all men who had prostate cancer, and they had surgery to remove their cancer. And what they found was that patients who received testosterone were 54% less likely to recur. So that's interesting. In fact, in men destined to recur, testosterone therapy delayed time to recurrence by an average of 1.5 years. There are many studies, basic science studies, clinical trials, suggesting that maybe giving testosterone may suppress prostate cancer cell growth and may inhibit prostate cancer cell growth. But I will tell you one of the most fascinating studies was the studies that came out of John Hopkins starting in 2015 introducing a concept called bipolar androgen therapy, or BAT. 
And in their first study in 2015, what they did was they took men with castrate-resistant prostate cancer. These are men with one of the most advanced forms of prostate cancer, and they gave them high doses of testosterone, which would go up and then the doses that would come back down. This is called BAT therapy or bipolar androgen therapy. And they found something very interesting. They found that those patients that received BAT therapy uh, had a 50% reduction in their PSA and 50% improvement in metastatic disease or radiographic response. Now, I'll just tell you, this would have been unheard of 20, 30 years ago to give men with metastatic prostate cancer high doses of testosterone to treat them. I don't have time to go through all of the BAT studies, but the one that really caught my eye and I think is probably the most important was this study, which was called the Transformer Study, which came out last year. And what this study did was it looked at men who had castrate-resistant metastatic prostate cancer, again, a very aggressive form of prostate cancer, and those men typically will receive enzalutamide, which is standard of care. But these authors did something unconventional. They gave men the option of either enzalutamide or giving them high doses of testosterone therapy. And this is a randomized placebo-controlled trial. If you received enzalutamide and you had uh, a, a recurrence, you were allowed to cross over to bipolar engine therapy. And if you received bipolar engine therapy and it was no longer effective, you could cross over to enzalutamide. So this was a crossover study. Very interesting study. What did they found, find? They found that the overall survival, the overall survival and the PSA specific survival was similar. Whether you gave the patient enzalutamide or high doses of testosterone, the survival was similar in both groups. But if you look carefully and look carefully at the data, they found that if you gave the patient bipolar angin therapy and then switched them over to enzalutamide, those patients actually did the best. And in fact, patients who received androgen therapy felt better, right? Because they had testosterone, which is helping them improve their quality of life. So again, a very interesting study. And again, a complete paradigm shift of what we learned in medical school and for decades is that clearly testosterone is dangerous. Now, let me just be very clear. These are clinical trials. This is not done in, 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 in standard care. But again, it's a very interesting finding to see that patients receiving high doses of testosterone to treat their metastatic prostate cancer. I just want to let you know that we are not the first to think of this. This concept was thought of decades ago. In fact, in 1965, Huggins proposed that both hormonal deprivation and hormonal excess, which he termed hormonal interference, might be used for therapeutic benefit. In fact, in the, from the 1950s to the 1980s, there are many case reports uh, reporting therapeutic benefit of testosterone therapy in men with adva advanced prostate cancer. There's a very large trial called the TRAVERSE trial that I want you to be aware of. This is the largest randomized placebo-controlled trial. Uh, the study was completed this year, uh, approximately 6,000 patients, and the primary outcome is MACE, cardiovascular events. It's called the TRAVERSE trial. And although the primary outcome is looking at cardiovascular events, secondary outcomes include the development of high-grade prostate cancer. And I'm very looking forward to the results of this trial to assess the effects of prostate cancer and testosterone. I want to end it with this questionnaire because I showed you the first survey in 2006 going out to physicians. What is your number one concern? And the response was, I'm worried that I'm going to develop prostate cancer. Well, this is a more recent survey going out to urologists. And if you look at what it says, uh, is it safe to give testosterone to men who have a history of radical prostatectomy? 96% of urologists say yes. Is it safe after radiation therapy? 84% say yes. Is it safe to give testosterone to men on active surveillance? 35% say yes. The paradigm is shifting. So in conclusion, there is currently no evidence that testosterone therapy promotes the initiation of prostate cancer in hypogonadal men. Testosterone therapy is now being used in clinical trials to treat men with metastatic prostate cancer. There may be a therapeutic and or protective role of testosterone therapy against prostate cancer. Thank you very much for your attention.